Alrighty guys, so let's move on to the interface basics and what this video is is really more of a terminology guide where we're going to help you guys know the exact names for each Lightroom interface component. Uh, the reason why this is useful is because from here on out we're going to be discussing these components in detail and specifically referencing them and so knowing the names are going to help you guys know exactly what we're talking about. Uh, and also when you guys are asking questions in the whether it be in the Lightroom community or on SLR Lounge whenever you're discussing these items it helps to know the exact terminology so that we know what you're talking about and we know exactly what question you might have. Alright guys so let's start from the top and just work our way down. So at the top we have our menu bar and this works like any other Windows or Mac application you've used so we're not going to talk too much about it. The next item we have is our identity plate and this is actually it's, it's called the identity plate because it's actually customizable um, but that's starting from this Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3 icon and extends all the way across where the modules are on the right this entire thing is our identity plate on the left side we have our left side panel and on the right side we have our right side panel and why do those not have more specific names well because each module has its own set of left and right panels so we just call them the left and right panel so if we're in the library we're going to refer to it as a left panel in the library module okay and right in the center this is what is known as our work area okay so in the center right below the work area we have our toolbar and once again the toolbar is going to change in every single module so the library develop slideshow print and web modules are going to have their own unique toolbars okay and so right below everything else we have the film strip and this is just a thumbnail display of all the images that are in our catalog that we can scroll back and forth alright guys so the last thing I want to show you guys is just kind of how each area of the Lightroom interface changes when you go from module to module and specifically what we're talking about is the menu bar the left panel, the right panel, and the toolbar. All these are going to change to feature different options and components as we go from module to module. And check this out. When I go from library to develop, everything is changing. When I go from develop to slideshow, everything changes again. They change to feature the different tools and options available to each module. Print, once again, is different. Web, once again, is different. Alright, so regardless of whether we're in the develop module or slideshow module, the toolbar is still the toolbar. Uh, despite you know the changes in features, we're still going to use the same names when we reference them. Alright guys, so let's move on to the next video.